Hi Abhishek, what should we do today? Sir, we'll do something like how to get 99% like what to do to get 99% You do one better than that. I have a list of habits to do to get 99% We we'll start with this and run through that. I have three habits in mind for uh, for getting 99 percentile. First one is a schedule, something to do with timing, uh, how to plan a schedule. And so uh, again, I'm going to break that into three parts because probably the most crucial. The first part is to have the boundaries of the schedule, have the discipline element in there. You should say every day at 7.30 p.m. or 7.46 p.m. or 8.13 p.m., some specific time, I will be preparing for a cat only and nothing else. And so that is not negotiable. That way you don't lose the habit of turning up day after day after day on that time. And that's super important, absolutely dead crucial. So some days you can do two hours, some days you can do 15 minutes, some days you do just three minutes, but you turn up on that time. And so you, you do something to guilt trip yourself to come there. Second thing, having a big bucket and saying every week I'll do 15 hours. Every week I'll do 12 hours. So that makes you schedule for a whole bucket of seven days together. So if your Tuesday is not working out for you, Wednesday you'll compensate for it. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday have been nightmarish. Friday you'll stick up in on everything else and jump in and do it. Every day turn up at that one time thing in order to maintain the habit. And over a 15, over a one week window, maintain either 12 hours or 15 hours, not negotiable. The third element of this is a, having a super rigorous time schedule for your mocks. That may not start now. It may start maybe two months from now, but you've got to say every Sunday, 2 p.m. I'm taking a mock. Come right now, Shane. So every Friday evening, 8 p.m. I'm taking a mock. I'll start a mock at that time. So the mock habit has to be built very rigorously and over a long period of time. And so that's super important. Three points I would have for the schedule element of it. Turning up at the same time, day after day, day after day, day after day, so that the brain knows, okay, 7.45 p.m. I have to be studying. Having a bucket of time for a week and then guilt tripping yourself into achieving that target. Yes. Having a rigorous schedule for mock whenever you start it. These are three elements of planning a schedule. And so the habits are brilliant. And so habits need to be built over time. But unless this becomes a habit, it becomes very tricky. You have to, you have to make it a natural thing that you turn up and study, not an extraordinary effort to study. And second part that I would want you to do is to read. Read away to glory. And read away to glory, absolutely read away to glory. And so you cannot afford to have a mechanism where you are, uh, uh, where, you are uh, uh, where you have only one specific style of reading, where you don't uh, read for five days, read, on, read on, on the weekends only. You have to read every day and all the time. And so there are some guys who you may have these guys as friends. They'll go and have uh, your uh, pakoras with you or some snacks with you that gets wrapped in a newspaper. You guys will finish it off and you're walking back and the guy's reading that. You need to become that person. And you have to read uh, big novels every evening, night. You switch off without doom scrolling, but with this. And that should be an anchor point for you. That is super important. Uh, you need to prepare, you need to be reading in between your work schedules. You need to be reading on your commute and you need to be reading all the time. And this is going to be the bedrock of your verbal preparation, to some extent your LRDI also, because you need to take in information, uh, digest it subconsciously, not very consciously, automatically, and understand humor, understand a catch, understand a trap, understand a comprehensive picture, all of that. So to read away to glory. And you cannot, there is absolutely no substitute for this, and you have to keep at it all the time. The third thing is not a habit as much as, uh, um, so, so, so mechanism, and whenever you're preparing for cat, whenever you're starting a preparation for cat, have a big smile and prepare with a sense of joy. Um, I've, I've learned this recently. Somebody keeps saying this to me over and over again, someone on, 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 on TV. Smile. If something is particularly tricky, smile. If something is nice and easy, smile. If a question is tricky and you got caught out by it, smile. You have to build this habit that, hey, this cat preparation journey is, is pleasant and you're better off for it. And so. Uh, you may not smile with joy, but uh, just smile, the joy will come. Fake it till you make it. Okay? I'm not going to let a list of three things to do just be three things to do. I'm going to talk about things not to do. And so the number one on that list is uh, getting caught in, in this whirlwind with a, with a bunch of um, visual stimulus mediums. 
essentially television, OTT, screen, social media, Instagram, the whole shebang. And so put them in a box. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not preaching austerity. I'm not saying stay away from it forever and ever. I'm very much uh, guilty on this count. I do way too much doom scrolling for someone my age should be doing. And I'm trying to cut it down. It is, uh, it is rather pointless. I feel it is pointless and I'm on the wrong side of 40. You guys should be paranoid about how sharp your gray cells are working, how, how intense you need to be all the time, how much stamina, intellectual power, brain power, stamina you're building on a day-to-day -day basis. So you absolutely cannot afford to spend too much time on this. You can't doom scroll your way into sleep. You can't doom scroll on, the, on a break. And there's this vortex of social media. Uh, it can just suck you in and take you through several rabbit holes. Uh, take it to zero eventually. If you're the kind of person who says, look, if it's zero, it's zero. I'll take it to zero straight away today. Do that. Uh, you must definitely, definitely, definitely regulate how much you consume this. There is absolutely no two ways about it. Anybody who's ambitious who says, look, I'm, I'm cut out for this. I'm throwing my hat into the ring. I want to prepare for this. I want to go far in my career. You cannot have a lifestyle where you where you spend a couple of hours every day on junk websites. Simply, simply doesn't go at all. When you're thinking, what do I know, do the good things to do? You cannot do a bunch of good things you have in your mind unless you kill three things that you shouldn't be doing. This unregulated social media and internet and doom scrolling time has to be put in a box and contained. You have to say, look, okay, I'll do this. Uh, I'll do this for 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the afternoon, 20 minutes in the evening, maximum, tops. And if I don't do for 15 minutes in the morning, doesn't mean I'll do half an hour in the afternoon. That's done. Gone. Good. That's a good day. And so keep that in mind. Uh, I will also try to keep this as a motivation point for myself. All these targets that I'm, I'm dishing out to all of you guys, I'm not maintaining it. Uh, I will try. I will try to, to, to see. Maybe maybe two months from now, I'll come back and tell you that I've cut it down dramatically. And I'm, I'm happier for it. And you guys also try to cut it down dramatically. Best wishes for you. Thank you.